What is up, Ladder Climbers? Antoine Wade here, six-figure earner and millionaire. And welcome back to the Black Heights channel, where we talk about all things related to you having success in life. Now, I know you have an open mind, so why don't you stay here and watch the entire video? And while you're at it, go ahead and hit on that subscribe button and also stump on that like button as it helps us grow the channel. And guys, in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to become a data scientist. Now, why did I choose a data scientist for today's video? One, because they make a whole bunch of money and we like to make money in tech. Two, they are scientists, guys, so they carry a nice title in society. And then you're gonna be looking really snazzy with that title. In three, you're gonna have a lot of career opportunities if you go down this route. Now, in today's video, guys, we are going to be discussing what is a data scientist, what are the skills required to be a data scientist, how to become a data scientist, the average salary behind a data scientist because they make a whole bunch of money, and last but not least, the career path for a data scientist. So what is a data scientist? Well, they are a scientist of data. That's right, a scientist of data. They collect, report on data, and communicate their findings to the business to help the business make better decisions. And they typically work with large data sets. Now you're probably asking, what is a large data set? Well, I'm going to share with you what a small data set is in a large data set. Think about this. You own a restaurant, your own personal restaurant. People come in, you type in transactions and so forth. That goes into a database. That would be considered a small data set because it is one store. Now let's just say you open 1500 restaurants that's feeding into one large database. That is a large data set. And guess what guys? Data scientists will look at that data and try to analyze and report on it so that you can make better restaurant decisions. So some of the decisions that they can help you make is, wow, in this location, these customers like your ribs. In this location, these customers like your chicken. In this location, they only like fish and they will help you to determine how you can set up your menu so that you can make better sales. So data scientists really look at big, large data sets, and then they report back to the business what they have found and communicate back to you ways that you can improve your business. Now let's talk about the skills that you need to become a data scientist. And at number one, from a hard skill perspective, it is math and statistics. You have to be good at math and you have to have a really strong foundation in math and statistics. The second is analytical modeling. Data analysts have to take data, unstructured data a lot of the times, and then figure out how to make it structured data and then run statistics, run analytics and model it. And then they need to report back to the business. So you're gonna to have to have a good foundation on analytics and modeling. Modeling. The third hard skill is machine learning methods, guys. And you have to have some bit of expertise in this area. So this is where the computer science comes in at. This is where the programming comes at. That's another skill that you're gonna to have to learn as well. Something like R and SQL, Python, those are all programming language that you would need to know. Now, what are some of the soft skills that you're gonna to need to know? Well, this is why I think that management information systems majors who major in computer science or vice versa will be a good fit for a data scientist because one, they're gonna to have to be able to communicate to the business the results that they have found so that the business can make informed decisions based off that. So communication is huge. Business acumen is huge. And this is why I always say that management information systems majors should consider consider this route because you get to learn about the finance, the operations, the accounting, different parts of the business. And last but not least, you got to have some bit of intellectual curiosity because you're going to have to problem solve, guys. And you're going to have to find solutions to some of the problems that the business is actually having. Now, how do you become a data scientist? Well, one, you need to start with the education and not all schools have a data science program. But the people who get into data science, what they end up studying in university is computer science, statistics, physics, applied mathematics, management and information systems, computer engineering, informatics. These are all programs that data scientists actually end up majoring in. And graduates from these programs typically have a wide range of skills, business skills, data science skills, coding skills, qualitative and quantitative skills, data management skills, and so much more. And data scientists need a bachelor's degree because a bachelor's degree is gonna provide you a solid foundation for earning a master's degree, which is very common in the field of data science.
science. Matter of fact, the majority of data scientists have it. I think my statistics show that over 90% of data scientists have a degree. And secondly, the requirements for data scientists is starting to lean more towards the master side and many universities require that a bachelor's degree is a prerequisite to admissions for master's programs. Let's just say you don't want to do a master's program and you have a bachelor's degree that's pretty useless at this time. There are alternative programs to getting a master's degree if you want to become a data scientist. So let's just say you have a useless degree such as psychology, anthropology, archaeology one of those degrees and you're sick and tired of not making a lot of money and you want to get into tech. Well, you can take programs such as massive open online courses. We call them MOOCs and MOOCs are basically online self-guided course studies that will help you become a data scientist. And one of the things is they are self-learning and they're going to teach you all the things that you need to know to become a data scientist. And then you're going to have to really put your foot in the water in order for you to do some sort of internship and gain some experience. And then you can become a data scientist that way, but you're going to have to have some sort of degree. There are also boot camps that exist that are there to accelerate and they are intense programs that help you with a data science education and they focus on experimental learning with projects built on a data science program. And typically what ends up happening is the instructors and the staffing managers typically practice data science. So there are people who've been in the field and they teach you all the things that they have learned over a short amount of time. So this is one of the routes that I do recommend if you want to become a data scientist and you don't want to go back to school. Now let's talk about the salary for a data scientist. Man, they make a lot of money. The average salary for a data scientist per year is $97,000. Yes, that's right, $97,000. And on the bottom half, the bottom 20%, probably makes about $67,000 a year, then the top 20% probably makes around $180,000 a year, guys. So that is buku dollars. If you want to make a lot of money, consider becoming a data scientist because you can make a lot of money. And here's the other thing, guys. The job growth rate is at 16 whopping percent. Yes, 16 whopping percent. So guess what? If you become a data scientist, if you go into this field, you're almost guaranteed a job because more data scientists are needed. More data scientists are needed than there are people with the actual skill sets, guys. So this is a field that if you have the math acumen, you have the problem solve acumen, you have the business acumen, and you are ready to take the leap to make a lot of money, I would consider a data scientist for real because they make a whole bunch of money. And the job satisfaction for data scientists, they are pretty happy within their career. So if you're going to rate them out of a five stars, the majority of them have said that they are pretty happy in their career and out of five stars, they would give it a 4.1 star. So a 4.1, if I was a person that likes to visit restaurants, I don't visit anything under a four. So I would consider becoming a data scientist. Overall, the satisfaction for a data scientist is really, really high. The majority of people who are data scientists, they seem to like what they do. And the career path for a data scientist is vast, guys. You can go on the technical side and become an engineer, or you can stick on the data side to become a data a leader, a manager of data, a senior data analyst. You can go on a project site to become a product manager, a project manager. The career path is vast, as I mentioned. And in these careers, once you become a data scientist, you will climb the ladder relatively fast because you will have the skills that you need in order for you to communicate effectively, in order for you to analyze data, in order for you to troubleshoot and problem solve. So guys, I recommend becoming a data scientist because you will make a whole bunch of money. And just think about it, the name scientists just sound so premium. I mean, like, it sounds just really awesome. You walk around and say, I'm a scientist. That's pretty awesome. And people are going to look at you like, man, that's pretty dope. You can smart dude right there. And last but not least, you're going to have a lot of career opportunities and you're going to be relatively happy within your career. Now, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that like button because we need to grow this channel and we need your help to do so. And guys, if you have a comment on this video, do leave me a comment in the comment section. I will certainly reply. If you want to just add some context to the overall job as a data scientist, if you are a data scientist, please leave a comment in the comment section of this video. And until next time, y'all. Peace.